Oh man, is it cold today. Oh, thank God I got gloves, I forgot a toque. But yeah, we're gonna do some winter drifting today on a closed course here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. We're out at a place called Lake Shirley and it's courtesy of the Winnipeg Sports Car Club. We're doing some lapping alongside of their race cars this weekend. And uh, yeah, I'm here to film a couple Nissans uh, that love to have some fun. And, and we're gonna go check out the cars. We're gonna go meet the drivers. And finally, we're gonna go for a ride. So stay tuned and uh, let's go check it all out. Ryan, what's going on? Welcome to my Nissan 350Z. <laughs> so we're out here with the Winnipeg Sports Car Club doing our third ice racing event of the winter, which we hold every two weeks from January up until March. And to guys like us that are hardcore racing guys, winter is the worst time of year because all we want to do is go to the racetrack. So luckily, these guys have put on this incredible event that happens so frequently, especially compared to summer, where we only drive one month out of the, or sorry, one weekend out of the month. So anyways, I'm gonna give you a quick walk around on the old ice racing girl. Awesome, yeah, and so, you have to be a diehard to be out here, it's so freaking cold. Yeah. Especially for me, I just came back from Florida, you now, know, and. The funny thing is, is this is probably 20 degrees warmer than what it normally is at this time of the year. Yeah, legit. It feels like Florida to us that don't go to Florida. <laughs> legit, last week it was like minus 40 or yeah, something like yeah. that. It was crazy. But yeah, so, yeah so honestly, a stock car, picked it up off of Kijiji for $5,000 because you just want kind of the cheapest car you can get because what happens when plastic gets cold? Well, that happens when plastic gets cold and it just shatters. So what, what year is this car, Ryan? This one's a 2004. 2004, we got a Nissan 350Z. It's second model or second year of the model. It in 2004 made 260 horsepower. This one's got almost 300,000 kilometers on it now, so it's probably making a solid 120 to the wheel when it's this cold out, <laughs> maybe 100 on a hot summer day. Um, Engine-wise, it's stock. It's got an intake plenum spacer, an intake uh, header back exhaust. It's got only the best BC Racing coilovers. If you know, you know. These are the Drift Boy coilovers. It's got the GK Tech angle kit in it. Um, essentially, there are two parts to the GK Tech angle kit. There is a tie rod spacer and a full control arm replacement. This one's just got the tie rod spacer. It's a $200 angle kit. This car is put together as cheaply and cost effective as possible. It's got inside still more or less a completely stock car. You just throw a handbrake in it so that you can activate your rear wheels and lock them up. And then what we do, which you unfortunately probably can't see, but we actually have the handbrake on its own separate caliper. So you still have foot brake actuating one caliper and handbrake actuating the other caliper. And then it's got a open diff that's welded shut. So it's locked 24 seven, solid bushings in it. And that is it. And you just go out here and you drive. Okay, talk, drive to, me, talk to me about this. What is this, quick release bumper back here? What's a, going on? You drive until the bumpers fall off. <laughs> now, just something you're gonna notice about the Nissan Z chassis is, you see this one here? Look at that one over there. Oh, <laughs> you guys are like twins. You're yeah. both, you both have quick release rear bumpers. It's a rite of passage. If you don't do it within your first day at the racetrack, you ain't driving hard enough. There you go. <laughs> there you There's go. really nothing else to tell you about it. Um, so I think the next step is you guys gotta hop in the car and come for a ride. 
That sounds great. I'd love to come for a ride with you. And out of curiosity, you're a drifter too, right? Summer, winter, spring and fall, baby. That is awesome. So are you still doing your tire business too? Yes, sir. Still yes, running sir. that? Let me tell you, you need tires for your car. You need tires to go ice racing. Rhino Tires, only place to come to in Winnipeg. There you go. Yes, I heard sir. you guys have some uh, the best pricing in town for tires best too. Best pricing in town. We just moved into a new shop. We have been expanding our inventory line. We are now offering beyond tires. We're offering wheels, parts like intakes, exhaust, suspension, fuel systems, you name it. We're starting to branch out into a full aftermarket parts division. There we go. Shameless plug for Rhino Tires. I'm going to go for a ride in this thing. This is going to be some fun. All the ice racers are out right now, so you know it's going to get a little bit noisy. But yeah, we're going to go check out what it's like to drift in a 350Z. We will see you guys out there. Oh, we're also going to scrape a lot. That's okay. Most likely. You're going to hear it. And sometimes it actually, like, we, like, hit the chassis and it's, like, some serious feedback in the chassis. Like that. So we're going to have one caution lap and then as soon as we get up to the other side, they'll green flag us. Oh, he's stuck? <laughs> Straighten your wheels out, yeah. Yeah, that 370Z is on studded tires. <laughs> We're gonna go for a ride in that next. I'm not gonna lie, guys, this is seriously so much fun. This is more fun than driving. I love this. Flag. I think that's time for us to go. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> was that fun or what? Wow, oh, stuff, eh? so bumpy, but legit, guys, that was so much fun. I would swear, but I know we're not supposed to be swearing on YouTube. I don't know if that's. Did you put the window down? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's so I'm hot in here. Looking, bro. Oh my God, guys, that was so much fun. I've been around the course myself in my Subaru, but seriously, nothing compares to being the passenger seat of a drift car. This was so much fun. Oh my Especially God. Especially Lucas, because I, him and I have so much chemistry driving together. We've been driving together for a couple of years now. Oh, I guess I don't need those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, like, it's just so crazy. Like, these guys get like this close. And that, that thing's supercharged too. It's a supercharged uh, Oh, that's engine. a supercharged Miata. He's on studded tires. Man, that's so sick. That's honestly like, that's the best thing in the world. When you're like yeah. that close, like right on another car. And it's like intense because it's, we've had a couple times already today where one of us have been in the front and the person in the front spins and you don't have enough time to avoid them so you just have to throw your car into the snowbank so that you stop and don't hit their car well see that's the nice part if you know like obviously no one intends on crashing when you're at these events but if you know you're with a couple of your buddies that have drift cars and you're like 
look, if you hit me, it's not the end of the world. That's the best way to go about this. Because seriously, like my Subaru, I'm not on that level of playing with my Subaru. Like if they hit my Subaru, I'd be like, seriously guys, this is ridiculous, we can't do this. <laughs> yeah. So when they're out here with friends though, they can actually like get right up close to each other and throw the car around and literally run like that, like on their passenger fender around the whole track because of that. It's so cool, guys. And now you guys are gonna go hop in the 370Z and that car is on the crazy studded tires and he has way more steering angle than I do. And you probably won't be able to feel it from where you're sitting, but Gary's gonna feel what it's like to literally slide backwards into a corner and then carry it through. It's the wildest feeling ever. Because like normally when you're driving, you feel side to side and you're in your bolsters. But when you go into that car and he throws in the corner, you're literally getting sucked into the back of your seat like that. It's the coolest thing. I'm legit. I'm so excited to go for a ride in that 370Z. So let's go check it out. We're just checking out the 370Z with Aries right now. This is his car. Uh, he's had a better luck before, but he's lost a stud, yeah. So the tire is completely flat now. So we're gonna see if somebody's got a patch kit around here that maybe we can uh, find a way to fix it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, Aries did manage to get the tire fixed. Unfortunately, we ran out of time today. So that's all we have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please take a second out of your day and hit that like button. And please consider subscribing to my channel because you know what? Next time we're probably gonna go out in this 370Z at the next event. Thanks guys, see you all in the next one.